Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mac from Cryptstar Staking, and today I have some really cool things to show you. I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and get on the Juno network and start staking your LP so that you can start getting those juicy, juicy rewards. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be going through this in five steps. The first step, we're going to go ahead and take our UST from the Terra network and deposit it into the Osmosis network. Then we're going to trade, oh, this is the second step, we're going to trade the UST for Juno. After that, we're going to use the Juno faucet to go ahead and get a little bit of Juno so we can pay the transaction fees to deposit the Juno from the Osmosis network. You need a little bit of Uno in order to deposit, or sorry, Juno in order to deposit. So yes. Then we're going to go ahead and deposit the UNO, or withdraw the UNO to our sort of Juno Cosmos blockchain. Then we're going to stake the UNO, and then we're also going to, last step, we're going to go ahead and add LP to the UST Juno LP pool, so that way we can hopefully be eligible for the fair share airdrop. Let's go ahead and head over to the Anchor protocol. You can see here I deposited $28 for this tutorial, so yes, all for y'all out there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to first deposit the UST from the Terra network into the Osmosis network. That will cost a little bit of Luna, which I have in my account. So make sure that you have Luna in your account. I covered that in my previous tutorial. Another option is to go ahead and just withdraw Cosmos, or sorry, go ahead and withdraw, yeah, Cosmos directly from the blockchain or Osmosis from an exchange. There are many options. Now head over to trade. And let's go ahead and trade that for some Juno. And let's hit swap or hit ma let's do max because we're going to move everything onto the juno network so this will get us 1.2 juno which is very much but badly okay let's hit confirm okay now let's head over to assets and all you have to do to go ahead and withdraw to the juno network is you need to withdraw from here but first you actually have to go to this website which is right here i think oh the no right here here's the faucet okay so in order to get the the proper required amount of Juno in order to go ahead and you know pay for the transaction fee to swap your first Juno over. I believe you need to get some faucet Juno. So let's go ahead and head over to the Juno network here. You know it's right here. And then you just copy this address, click on it to copy it, paste it here, press I am not a robot, even though I actually am a robot. I'm a liar. Okay. So now you have to send a tweet. So keep my Twitter username private. I confirm that I'm using this faucet because I need gas. Okay, it's so true. Let's do this again. I just posted the tweet and now it's probably searching for the tweet. Okay, so now that we got that, we should be receiving the, the Juno very quickly. Um, we can go ahead and head over. We can probably see it in our wallet already, I believe. No, not quite yet. Hmm, I don't see anything here yet. Well, let's go ahead and withdraw the Juno into our Juno account. And you can see it automatically populates the same address that I have up here because I use the same private key. Okay, so it's really, really important to use the same mnemonic, sorry, not private key, mnemonic, uh, when you're using all of these Cosmos inter-blockchain things, and that'll make your life a lot easier. Let's go ahead and hit the average free. So I withdrew my Uno, or Juno. Uno, Juno. You wonder why I keep saying Uno. I've been involved in this in play in game called Tezotopia. It's on the Tezos blockchain, it's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, I just keep messing up the name Uno and Juno. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, I got my Uno. Or Juno, you know, Juno, you know, I got my Uno, Juno, Uno, Uno, you know, Juno. You know. 3031, and it looks like I got 3031. So it looks like I didn't need actually to get the faucet. So sorry, guys, I was wrong about that. In order to stake, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's go ahead and stake point, uh, point 0.2 just for kicks. Go to the, the wallet. Here you can just hit stake. And I don't know if this is going to give me like a sort of airdrop or not. Uh, I don't know if you need, there's no real details on what you need to do to get the airdrop. They just want you to sort of interact with the, the Juno interface and then you can get some sort of airdrop, you know, if you get in the snapshot. So let's go ahead and I press Juno. I'll go ahead and pick, looks like you probably want to pick the higher rank ones I'm guessing because it's less likely that they'll move below the threshold to get payments. So yeah, kind of tough, but let's go ahead and deposit 0 0.2 Uno, uh, Juno. And let's go 0 0.2. Looks like you have to put a zero in front if you're doing not very much. So this is just a test transaction for me personally. So yeah, I'm just going to put that in. And also, if you put in a little bit of Juno, it's really, or Uno, Juno, Juno, Uno, it's really important because you earn the staking rewards automatically. You can claim it, and then you hopefully won't run out of any Juno, so you can always pay the gas fees. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Juno swap and we're going to go ahead and put some in the UST. Uh, you know what I'm going to do with the uh, Cosmos? The Cosmos pool. So you can see the liquidity pools right here. They haven't uh, shown the sort of incentivization, which ones will be the most incentivized. It looks like right now the Juno UST and Juno Atom will probably be the most incentivized. And as we can see right now, there's 12 million in here and there's only two and a half million in here. So I'm guessing the APR on the Juno UST will be much higher at first. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit into this one. Go ahead and go 50%, go swap. And hopefully at some point in time, you'll be able to withdraw, withdraw UST directly from the you know osmosis to the Juno rather than having to go here and then swap on Juno itself. Crossing my fingers. Anyway, so we just swapped properly. Now let's go ahead and do the last step. Let's add liquidity to this pool. Pretty simple. Just to add liquidity, uh, you can hit provide max liquidity. And then there it'll it'll pick up your Uno. Or Juno. Juno Uno. And you can add liquidity like that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and approve. Looks like the fees are pretty expensive on the Juno network compared to the Osmosis network. Osmosis was free, and Juno looks like there's transaction fees every time. I guess that's probably good for the deflationary value of, of Juno itself. Um, you actually have to use it, which I was actually wondering for a long time why Osmosis didn't have that. But I think, mm, I mean, that's different approaches. I think this is definitely more deflationary and burning the Juno to go ahead and pay for the fees. But let's see. Or, and also, yeah. And in this case, I think I paid a liquidity fee was the 0.29 cents and it told me how much I paid. So I am now, I have now gone ahead and put in the liquidity. And that is it for today's tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial and want to hear more awesome blockchain tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. And I will see you guys all in the next show. Peace.